Hi my friend, I hope you are doing fine. Welcome to Choice Tech. In this video of Choice Tech, we are going to solve the problem of count paths from a point to reach origin using dynamic programming technique. From the picture, it looks like a geometrical problem, but I am certain that it is going to help sharpen your skills of solving problems using dynamic programming. So let's see its problem statement. Like I told you, this is a geometry problem and uh, the first statement of this problem begins with 2D plane. So let's see what it has to say. Now there is a 2D plane formed by X axis and Y axis. And in that 2D plane, you are on a point which is denoted by X comma Y. Now your task is to go to the origin. And we all know that the origin point in a 2D plane is denoted by 0 comma 0. There is a condition that uh, when you are standing on x comma y and if you have to move to the origin 0 comma 0 then you can either move to x minus 1 comma y point or to the point denoted by x comma y minus 1. This also means that you can move back either on the x axis or move down on the y axis. You cannot go back diagonally that is what this condition has to say. Now your task is to find the number of paths from point x comma y to origin 0 comma 0. That means you need to find out the number of paths by which you can reach the origin 0 comma 0 when you are on point x comma y. As you can see this is a 2D plane. This is the x axis and this is the y axis. This is our point 3 comma 5. Suppose we are standing here and this is the origin which we have to reach. I have drawn one of the paths using which we can reach the origin. As you can see, we are moving back on the x axis, then moving down on y axis, then moving back on x axis and then moving down on y axis. And so we are reaching the origin. This is one of the paths and like this, we need to find out how many paths exist using which we can reach 0 comma 0 from 3 comma 5. We are going to construct the dynamic programming solution in our framework. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and hit the bell icon because that way you'll get notified whenever I release videos like this on dynamic programming in future. Now let's switch to the framework. All right, so here we are in our framework the values of x and y are 3 and 5. Now based on these values I have set up a matrix over here. The number of rows of which is determined by x plus 1. So x here is 3. Therefore I have created 4 rows in this matrix. Similarly y here is 5 based on which I have created the number of columns as 6 because the number of columns is going to be y plus 1. Why one more column and one more row? Because we are going to store the values of the base state. They are very important for the calculation of similar subproblems. Now, since we are solving it using dynamic programming technique, hence we are going to move from subproblem to subproblem, smaller subproblem to bigger subproblem. And one more thing you have to keep in mind is that now we are calculating the number of paths from origin to x comma y so it's one and the same thing now let's start filling the first row and the first column or you can say the 0th row and the 0th column all right so what will be the value of this cell so this cell denotes 0 comma 0 now by how many ways we can reach from origin to origin i don't think that any number is required here so i'm going to populate 0 over here all right. Now let's calculate the value of this cell. So by how many ways we can reach from 0 comma 0 to 0 comma 1. That means we are just moving one unit up on y axis. So there is only one way by which we can reach from 0 comma 0 to 0 comma 1. So I'm going to populate one over here. I am taking everything logically over here. Now in how many ways we can reach 0, 0,2 from 0, 0. Again, 
only one way no other way so i am going to populate one over here similarly i will populate one in the rest of the cells of this row now let's populate the values in the first column so over here in how many ways can we reach from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 0 yes you are right we are moving one step on the x-axis so there is only one way by which we can do so so I'm going to put one over here now in how many ways we can reach from 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 0 again one similarly I am going to populate one over here so our base states are now full our 0th row and 0th column are populated now now we are going to utilize these values to calculate the value of the next complex subproblems. we are going to start right from this cell now so what should be the value of this cell now if you remember then in our question there was a condition that from x comma y we can either move to x minus 1 comma y or x comma y minus 1 so in order to reach 1 comma 1 we can either move from 0 comma 1 or 1 comma 0 so what we are going to do we are going to add the values stored in these sub problems to get the number of paths to reach 1 comma 1 from 0 comma 0 that means from origin so the result of the addition of 1 and 1 is going to be 2 hence 2 is the number of ways by which we can reach 1 comma 1 from 0 comma 0 all right now let's calculate the value for this cell here the point is 1 comma 2 now based on the condition given in the question we can either reach 1 comma 2 from 0 comma 2 or from 1 comma 1 all right so this is x comma y minus 1 and this is x minus 1 comma y so 0 comma 2 is 1 and 1 comma 1 is 2 so the total number of paths to reach 1 comma 2 from 0 comma 0 is going to be the result of the addition of 2 and 1 which is 3 all right so basically what we are doing to calculate the value of any cell we are going to add the value of the cell on the top of that particular cell and the value in the cell to the left of this particular cell so the value of this cell is going to be 3 plus 1 which is 4 now let's quickly populate this entire matrix so 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 5 plus 1 is going to be 6 similarly here the value will be the result of the addition of 2 and 1 which is 3 over here it's going to be 3 plus 3 which is 6 over here it's going to be 10 it's going to be 15 in this cell 21 in this cell coming over here it will be 4 then over here it's going to be 10 in this cell the value which will be populated will be the addition of 10 and 10 which is 20 in this cell the value which will be populated will be 35 and the value which will be populated in our final cell is going to be 56 and this is our answer so there are 56 ways by which we can reach the point x comma y or 3 comma 5 from origin or vice versa there are 56 ways by which we can reach the origin if we are standing on the point 3 comma 5 in a 2d plane now let's quickly see its algorithm so the first for loop here is going to populate the first column the base column the 0th column with 1 the second for loop is going to populate the 0th row with 1 all the cells in the 0th row will be populated with 1 using the second for loop now this expression is going to calculate the value of each cell the value of each subproblem 
dpij is going to be the value of dpi minus 1j that means the value of the cell which is at the top of the current cell plus dpi j minus 1 that means the value of the cell which is to the left of the current cell so this concludes this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you were able to understand this problem i want to know your feedback about this problem so mention it in the comment section if you have any doubts related to this problem then i will feel happy to solve them for you i look so much forward to help you with programming and algorithms and only for this video goodbye and take care